We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Welcome to this reflection on the Stations of the Cross. In difficult times like this, where many of us feel isolated, it's perhaps good to take time to reflect on the journey of our Lord Jesus Christ on Good Friday. I'm particularly grateful to the Daughters of Charity of Mount Prospect in Dublin. I've used their stations, which are in the form of a stained glass window. It reminds us that though the stations may be sorrowful, there is a light that shines through. Sometimes it is just before the dawn that things are darkest. And the Irish poet Paddy Kavner says, through a crack too wide, there comes in no wonder. At these times of isolation, of being alone by ourselves, perhaps we can allow the wonder of God's presence to reveal itself to us. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The image in this picture speaks powerfully for us today. Pilate is washing his hands. Pilate is washing his hands of responsibility for the death of Jesus. He's trying to deny that his decisions have had any effect in the lives of another. It's a very symbolic action for us today, in which we are called upon to take responsibility for our care for one another and to wash our hands. Yet it also asks us, how often do we wash our hands of responsibility? How often do we deny that our actions have effects in the lives of other people? Especially at this time. Do we recognise that we are connected to one another and the choices that we make affect other people as well as ourselves? We ask you, Lord, that we may not wash our hands of our responsibility for one another and we may accept our responsibility to wash our hands. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The second station, Jesus is given his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. In this image we see Jesus receive his cross, but in the background there is an image of the scapegoat. This was a Jewish idea, and on the feast of Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, a goat was sent out into the wilderness, carrying the sins of all the people. It's a good question to ask ourselves. Who do we make scapegoats in our lives? Who do we blame for the situations we find ourselves in? Who do we put the blame on, the burden of blame? Who do we blame in our families? Who do we blame in society? Who do we blame in the church? Who do we scapegoat? 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. We will all fall in life. We all make mistakes. Sometimes life bears down upon us, weighs us down, forces us to the ground. There's no shame in falling. The question is, have we the courage and the strength and the faith in God to get up again? There's a lovely story that's told about a young man who came to a monastery. He met one of the senior monks and said, what do you do here? And the monk said, oh, we fall and get up and fall and get up and fall and get up. May we pray for the courage to accept our falls and pick ourselves up dust ourselves off and move on again in faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Between Mary and her son Jesus in this image, we see etched the immaculate heart of Mary. A sword will pierce your own heart. Perhaps we can pray at this time especially for all those who are worried about their family at this time, for all those missing loved ones, for those feeling isolated, for those who recognize that their loved ones are suffering and who cannot go to them. May Mary and her son be with us all. May they help us to find light in times of challenge, in moments of darkness. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Simon is press ganged into helping Jesus. It's not something he offers, but something that he finds he has to do. Very mindful at this time that there are so many people who are working to assist us. Those who work in healthcare in various ways, those who work in law and order, those who are working in retail and delivery, those who are working to ensure that our society continues to run. For many of them, this is a challenge. It may not be what they want to do. They are concerned about their own families. They are concerned about their own lives. And yet they do this to help us. May we be grateful. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Whether willingly or unwillingly, Simon is pressed to help Jesus. Veronica offers her service freely. She can't carry the cross, but she does what she can. She wipes the face of Jesus. It's a moment of rest, of comfort, a show of support for a man in suffering. Perhaps we can think of all those who, in whatever way they can, are doing what they can for their family, their neighbours, their community, their society. People who go out to work, People who phone or write letters or check in. Who collect prescriptions and shopping. Who make sure that another knows that in their isolation, they are not alone. That they are cared for. We pray for all these Veronicas. The name means true image. And they are true images of the love of God for their neighbour. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The seventh station, the second fall. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Perhaps we can understand our first fall, someone else's first fall. But it's more difficult when people persist in their failings. More difficult when I persist in mine. 
At times like this, tempers get frayed. Nerves are worked. Words might be said in haste. Things are done thoughtlessly. It can be difficult to accept the frailty of one another, particularly when we're in close proximity. As we prepare for Easter, maybe this station asks us to accept human frailty, our own and the frailty of others. Maybe this is a time to speak words of forgiveness, to say sorry, to offer understanding, to acknowledge that we are all frail, but God lifts us up. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. These women are not described as disciples. They may simply be women that Jesus encountered on the journey. They may be rubberneckers looking on to see. But Jesus speaks to them and reminds them of their own sorrows. It's important for us not simply to be observers of the sufferings of others. It's important for us to reach out. Jesus reaches out to the women. It's not clear that they reach out to him. Can we reach out to those who suffer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The ninth station, the third fall. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Perhaps I can understand a first fall. Maybe I can forgive a second. But it can be very challenging to live with the constant fall, the continuous fall, the repeated fall. The people who always seem to fall into the same ways of behaviour. The same words spoken, the same actions done. Perhaps we think of those who have addictions of one kind or another.
perhaps too we need to think of the journey that they make, the burdens that they carry, the history that weighs them down. If we were to make their journey, we might fall even more often than they do. If we were to face their challenges, we might not be able to go on. At this station, we remember all those whose burdens seem to cause them to fall again and again and again. May we be understanding. May we be forgiving. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The Franciscan writer Richard Rohr speaks of the five lessons every man has to be taught and every woman learns. Life is hard. You are not in control. You are not that important. Your life is not about you. You will die. Perhaps there are ways in which this time of confinement, isolation, distancing, is stripping us, reminding us that neither as individuals, nor as church, nor as peoples, are we in control. We have to believe that God is, and that there is meaning in all of this. We are being stripped back perhaps to the fundamentals, to knowing what really matters, what really lasts, what really sustains us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The eleventh station, Jesus is crucified. These are challenging times. For some people, they may be too challenging. Perhaps in our prayer, we can unite our sufferings with the sufferings of Jesus and pray for those who find suffering too great to bear. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Sometimes in life, the only response, the appropriate response, is silence. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The thirteenth station. Jesus' body is taken down. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. We know that in these challenging times of pandemic, there are people amongst us, in our families, in our community, in our wider community. There are people amongst us whose bodies will not support them. There are people who are facing their final journey. And there are people who are facing the loss of those they have loved. We pray that they may know that even if they have to make this final journey alone, they do not make it unsupported or unaccompanied. They are in our prayers as a community of faith. We remember all those who will make this journey. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The fourteenth station, Jesus' body is buried. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. This is a challenging time for all of us, but it's particularly challenging for those who have lost a loved one. As priests, all we can offer is a service in the crematorium or at the graveside. Families cannot gather as they used to, to honour a loved one. At this time, perhaps we can pray especially for those who are grieving, for those who have lost loved ones. For those unable to be with their loved ones in the last moments of their lives, those unable to attend the funeral of one who has been dear to them all their lives. May we let them know by our words and our actions that though we cannot be with them, they are in our prayers. They are in the prayers of the community. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. As we come to the end of this Stations of the Cross, we pray to the Lord, who journeys with us in all our experiences of life, and who journeys with us especially at this time, that he may be near us, that we may be conscious of his nearness to us. We pray that the Lord, who holds all things in being, may have mercy on us at this time. That this pandemic may reach its end. That the world may find true peace. And we remember that even in the darkness, there is a light that shines. God's presence is always with us. God gives meaning to all human experience. God brings all our paths and purposes to their ends. As God gave meaning to the last journey of his son. As God used this journey of darkness to bring light for all peoples and hope for all the nations. <laughs> 